that's the greatest commercial ever? <laughs> Generic intro in the deck goes be here back with some more nostalgia critic today We have dawn of the commercials, which I believe is supposed to be the fourth commercial special last week I reacted to the fifth one. I'll leave that video right up there Also link down below the description also be in a place on my channel with all of my other nostalgia critic videos But yeah today that we're watching the fourth one last week We did the fifth one apparently we did it out of order because this one was taken up for copyright That's why it was put up two years ago, so it should be really really good Apparently they talk about Canadian commercials and there's something about like coffee commercials or something I am I'm not very sure, but we are going to, to get into this one today. I don't know why it's so hard for people to make uh, playlists on YouTube that go in chronological order. All of mine are in chronological order, but I run into, constantly run into channels that have theirs not in order. It's like so many channels. It's always been a problem with the channel. It's just like I've always tried to use playlists but that put together by the creators and it's out of order. It's so weird. Shout out to the patrons down below. Wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for them. They allow me to have a payable on the channel. Kind of in a hurry because I got a live stream in 36 minutes and this is a 33 minute long video. So you know me. Cutting it close because I got to make so many videos because I hate myself. But let's go ahead and jump on into Dawn of the Commercials. Oh, okay. okay, so we're watching the fourth one uh, because it was apparently removed because of copyright. And last week we did the fifth one out of order. Um, which is really weird. I believe so. Even though this looks like a new and improved. Someone told me Dawn of the Commercials was the fourth one. So I might be also watching this out of order. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I There's some continuity to it. But if the... I don't know the whole story behind everything. Apparently he took a break. So I think he's coming off of a break from commercial specials. Even though it looks... Oh, no, there's a shirt still. I actually just watched a um, Bad Weapon Academy video. And he actually had the massage to crit uh, intro. What is going on here? What is this scene from? Is it like the Pope or something? I'm guessing this is the Pope. Like the announcement of the new Pope. Uh, does he know the TV's the other way? Oh. As he just comes back into the scene, and the crowd goes crazy. Definitely isn't America, I don't think. Timmy, some commercials. You can't get that many people together in one spot without some fighting. Sprinkle chips ahoy! Yep, it's that time sprinkle again chips to ahoy? tour huh? down the often forgotten but fondly remembered avenue of nostalgic commercials. Fond? Why do so many of them stay with us? What is it about their world of pandering and advertising that makes us so fond of them? Whatever it is, because we're going to review them to the and point. partake in their corniness once more. So, they run a the fine line of being we'll be right direct. Back, and the second one after these messages, and the third one explanation point, this one I'm going to call... Oh, so this is the fourth one. The fourth one. After the fourth one. Oh, God. Messages, he does this every time. There's a dog. Messages. Talking about the fourth one. Alright. Oh, no. What is... Dinosaurs? Capture the dinosaurs, that's a terrible idea. Ah, what? Good old Chef Boy RD. Causing children around what? the world to grow up. Dinosaur? I can't believe I used to put this in my body. Dinosaurs from Chef Boy I don't think I've ever had Chef Boy RD. Never had Ravioli. Tasty wholesome pasta. I can think of three things wrong with that sentence. Thank goodness for new Pac-Man pasta from Chef Boyardee. No, of course, what? making Pac-Man pasta characters into edible shapes is nothing new. There was Pac-Man, Smurfs, Kelp. Even Smurf. Tic Tac Toe got a pasta. No, wait, did it really? Just the X's and, and O's. O's. Makes me feel so hungry for my Tic Tac Toe. But what some people forget is that for Decent the longest song. time, they tried to make a game out of eating their products. Yeah, listen. Wait, how? And when what? you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Because first one to capture all three dinosaur shapes wins. What? Why must you turn dinner time into a competitive sport? Wouldn't the more appropriate rules be? Hey kids, if you can eat the elbow macaroni and ketchup we're calling pasta without vomiting it Edible up your ears, nose, or mouth, ketchup. you win. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Look at oh this my crazy God. I love the Chef Boyardee memes. Just look at that face. It's like he saw Jesus He's getting and at paid the same time to do decided this. he wanted to eat him. Wherever I go in, sex is the nose. Makes me feel ah. tic-tac-toes. They're so tasty. Jesus. Chef Boyardee. Is that a glass of milk? Well, even if you don't like glass the food, milk. Chef Boyardee always knew how to give us that tasty amount of goofiness. I mean, yeah, I'm sure kids loved it. With 
and without meatballs. Yeah. With and without meatballs. Hey, is this a McDonald's commercial? Oh God, you can't help but feel that warm, fuzzy feeling whenever you watch this classic. What's new? I've never seen this before. Everybody says I'm too little. Really? Maybe too little. It's a McDonald's commercial about a little girl thinking about running away. And for some reason, never In the middle of a snowstorm? the creepy clown that's on our neighbor's lawn. I'm thinking of running away to McDonald Land. McDonald Land? Okay, that's where I'm from. I Is hear it's a dictatorship where people disappear. Well, Lindsay, maybe there's some undesirables there holding back genetic oh, no. progress. Yeah, I hear it's really nice. I hear where you're from is really nice, too. It's okay. Cause you got it's that okay. Over your garage. I'm sorry, snow does not bounce. Has that great wind chime. Why do you know this? Plus there's that beautiful field. Where I there's snow. Yeah, but Butterflies be dead. to be fair, her basketball hoop and wind chime aren't as impressive as your satanic powers to levitate solid mass and create life from nothingness. McDonald Land is still sounding a bit cooler there, Ronald. Hey, even less creepy. Where'd the character come from? Who's gonna make the decorations for your dad's birthday party? Who's gonna be the snowflake in the school play? Ronald. Who's gonna feed What is the point of this commercial? Hey, Ronald, I think I hear my mom calling me. Oh, okay. Bye, Lindsay. Bye. Yeah, it all seems sweet and cute until you realize oh. this was a Stranger Danger commercial. Yeah, it really oh, was. On. I can't be the first person to think that about Ronald McDonald. I mean, look at him in this commercial. What? Oh, Tess But I think he's missing something. What? A French fry? A friend. French fry? Yeah. Oh. If a strange man dressed like a clown lures you with magic tricks and, oh, I don't know, offers you McDonald's to go with him, chances are you should probably run for home. Or, yeah. as Alec puts it, you get out of this. Just get out. Like the way Ronald Gotta stares at her in this scene. But I think he's missing something. A friend. I mean, it's impressive. Why is Ronald McDonald magical? If someone went up to your kid and smiled like this... Run. I'm getting me mallet. I'd pull her the fuck away from him. Oh well, as much as I make fun of them, the, I the still love both these commercials around Christmas time. I've never seen them before. When did they stop running? Well, I've seen mostly Christmas Brought to you by a company set to sabotage your arteries for the rest of your life. Bye, Lindsay. Bye. Oh, uh, the snowman's waving too. I just realized that. So Batman some Returns. Endorsements are bad now. Take a look at what they did to the Cape Crusader when Batman Returns came out. Diet Coke. That's right. Is he gonna stop rioters or capturing the culprit? He's gonna stop and get a Diet Coke. Crime? Fuck no. He's gonna get him some Diet Coke. You think Batman, the absolute piece of the man that I've learned from Diet Death Coke, Battle, Diet Coke, Diet Coke. I need my Diet Coke. drinks soda? After all, there's just one. I need my fucking Diet Coke! He's like a multi-billionaire! He can, like, buy Coke. That real turned into high fructose like, deliciousness. The company, not... Well, he can buy both, naturally. Sir, so, don't you think you're taking this a little too far? Why are the Fuck you, Mr. Belladere! Diet Coke! Wait, he's doing all this for Diet Coke? There's just one. But we discover oh, it was Catwoman that woman. who was the culprit Cat all along. Did she still in the Diet Coke? Boy, slow week for her, isn't it? I mean, was this really her grand plan? To Shut steal down all the, the Diet city Coke? So she could tease Batman's bizarre low calorie soda fetish? No offense, Selena, but you could do better. That's interesting. Diet Coke. I'm not really aware Just of the cat one. <laughs> No, that's the last reason anybody drinks it. The first reason is. I've never well, had now, that. Honestly, Don't do because that. Batman drinks it. He loves it so much, he would literally let the city die just to get the last one. That's probably the, last the best endorsement Coke. you could give a product. So I, That's I guess fair. it works. Batman. Diet Coke. Just for the taste. And they have to get the slow-mo there with the battering. Diet Coke. Is that gonna be a running joke now? Another classic collection of commercials we can't forget, along with that wonderful jingle that we what? can't forget. A Toys R Us kid? Wait. They're charming commercials. I've never seen these before. Is it me, or does this does sound like cool? the national anthem for adults who never really did grow up? You know, those man children and women children who never want to do women anything children? with their That's lives except play with their toys. I'm telling you, it's all because of this jingle. Don't believe me? The sequel commercial that came out years later proves it. What's the sequel? 1982? Look at that! 
96. I was born in 97. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Wait, it's the same kids. It's like no time has passed. It's like 14 years later. This is their life. So they're like, they're like almost 20, probably. In fact, the more I think about it, they're it used to be the biggest there even to this day. Ma. Reggie! That's a nice uh, go away, oh. Mom. Reggie, when are you gonna get a job? I told you, Mom, I'm a Toys R Us kid. You keep saying that. What does it mean? Have you seen? You couldn't possibly understand, Mom. Apparently, this thing called like a stay-at-home daughter. Like, they money. just complicate the plan, Mom. Stop. The Toys R Us plan. Stop. I'm going to watch old home movies of you and see where I went wrong. Toys R Us kid, Mom. <laughs> Toys R Us kid. The M and M's. Look at all, all that candy I don't these eat. Commercials is that half the toys were never at Toys R Us. You ever notice that? Wait, really? I don't know if it was a copyright thing Dog. or what, but half of these products they were advertising were never at the store. Why like, do you know that? Imagine you were a Ninja Turtle nut like I was. Look at these fucking things! Holy wow. shit! I want the life-size dancing Ninja Turtles, please. Mm, what? Don't they're have probably it? Cost well, okay, I'll take that gigantic teddy bear. Amazon probably has it. Around. Don't have it. What? Well. That game where you bomb the battleship. Mm. Fuck you! Look for the Pearl store. Harbor. There has to be a game where you can bomb a battleship. Oh, God. This place is an insult to Joffrey the giraffe. Mm. Joffrey the giraffe. Is that real? Mm. No. Oh. I don't he... want to grow up. Critic. Does, when are you gonna get a job? Critic. Oh, I don't think I was a Toys R Us kid. I think my brother was. Oh, Count Chocula. There was actually a period of oh, what is that? Chocula was a live action character. And would you like to see what he looks like? If you no. Chocolate too, <laughs> what the hell is that? It's reminding me of it's Food Fight. It's a funny combo of the Nesquik Rabbit and Fat Weird Al Yankovic. And oh, okay, God. that chin seriously needs to be censored. I swear, I'm looking at Horace <laughs> Whitaker's testicles right now, and that should not be uh, under the mouth of any serial mascot. No, it shouldn't. What is chocolate monster? That's what the chocolate the monster looks like. About. It's a monster that wakes up, but when he's fed Count Chocula, he turns back into he a needs kid. Chocolate? Who cares? You can't take your eyes off that image of Robin Williams' face coming out of a Muppet's Wait, butt. Is that Robin Williams? Yeah! Throw it away! Turn it away! Burn it with acid! Satisfies a chocolate monster? No, is that actually no Robin Williams? The monstrously good part of a complete breakfast. Count Chocula can satisfy a the chocolate monster. Breakfast is so not good you for you. Stay the fuck away from my chocolate monster. If you haven't told me what your favorite cereal is, definitely yeah. I loved reading about that. You're doing that. a great job. Oh, yeah. I don't know uh, how many people remember like this, this one, video. but for a while, I was on a different website, was though. it. It starts off with a woman working at her job when her boss obviously He's very close. on her. But you're not using all your assets. With a body like that, you can go places. Sexual, sexual harassment, harassment maybe? Like less of a person. A Ask for the stop sexual harassment booklet at your public library. Be a little more sexy. Hey, we're talking about your job here. No, we're talking about sexual harassment here, and I don't have to take it. Boom! My early night. Jesus. Just schooled your ass. I don't know what it is. There's just something. I thought about, about giving it a perm. What I look like is and how almost robotic she says it. No, we're talking about sexual harassment here. The thing is, most of the time in the situation, you don't realize it's happening until you think about it afterwards. Is, sometimes I wonder if this would still work if the roles were reversed. Like, if it was the woman hitting on the man. My guess in all honesty would be, no. For one, kind of obviously this happens more to women than it does to men. Oh yeah, but obviously. Two, men just aren't smart enough to recognize when they're being hit on. We're kind of dumb that way. If I mean, is not I noticed when I'm getting sexually we assaulted. Well, if a woman is interested, I, I've noticed that. Not it took me afterwards, to it but reason. if a female noticed. boss is hitting on a male worker, he's not gonna catch on to it anytime soon. Yeah. Except for you. You save me, huh? Oh. Yes, my lady. It's been a long day, hasn't it, OEO oh, henchman number five? Yes, my lady. And you do anything for me, wouldn't you? Yes, my lady. Unless someone half your age were to kill you, in which case I would swear an allegiance to her blindly. Oh, that's okay. loyalty. 
What do you say I ride your broomstick for a while? What do you mean? Fill my pointy points. hat. Don't follow. Pop my ruby slipper. Totally lost. Jesus, do I have to spell it out for you? I want to have sex with you. Oh, oh. still don't get it. What? I don't have any other words to say. Not one part of that sentence could be interpreted any other way. It, oh, yeah. I think I see what you're saying. Good. Oh. You want me and henchwoman number 12 to hook up? Well, don't worry, huh? lady. I'm still working on it. Hello, henchwoman number 12. Still not into you, creep. Oh, She's well. So into how the, oh, forget it. How does fire. things around his neck get fixed? Flying monkey. Oh. I need a better union. <laughs> Enjoyable yeah. awkward and quotable as hell. We're just talking about a damn funny commercial here. No, we're funny. talking about sexual harassment. Not very and funny. I don't have to take it. Sexual harassment violates you, and it violates the law. Yeah. Hey, kick. Kicks. Remember kicks? The only cereal commercial we that see pretty Twix much commercial. listed every single reason why not to buy it. There's no I don't. I've never stuff. heard of kids. No sprinkles. No preservatives. No colors. It doesn't have any candy or chocolate in it. Honestly, it's just rabbit. What? Drop droppings that they painted yellow, but the box is pretty. Wait. Actually, they went so far out of their way to tell you all the things that, that kids don't like. There's actually a commercial that says there's no flavor in it. Listen. No, there's no colors, flavor. No flavors. Yeah, that might no be flavor, like added the flavors. Especially when you're advertising how phenomenally boring your product is. I am someone that would like that. I have very basic taste. And I'm very the healthy. The thing is that Kix is the only cereal that tastes different literally with every single bite you take. It's like Why? it gets worse and worse with oh, every single worse? nip. Not, not better? Joking. You could do a diagram on the natural progression of what every bite does to your taste buds. The first bite demonstrates a tasty, enjoyable experience that seems rather satisfying. Is this still a thing? Notice how the smile has deteriorated by 50% on the second <laughs> bite, signifying less enjoyment this might have been of the a experience. Mistake. It's a second the bite. Now bite by the third bite. Shows the mistake to spare. One feels having placed this product in their mouth. Surely part of the box yeah. must have worked its way onto the spoon. Then eat the toy inside. Remember when <laughs> Cyril had Clearly toys? made a cereal out of packing peanuts. This mistake will not be made again. <laughs> Now kids can get a classic little golden book, free from kicks, with one proof of purchase plus shipping. Okay, did anyone ever oh, actually bush? send in the proof of purchase? I mean, did, did that have to? ever happen in the history of mankind? With two proofs of purchase? I don't know if cereals still do this, but when they were too cheap to put the toy in the box, they had you pay for a stamp and envelope as well as shipping and handling and have the toy delivered to you a few days later. Do kids that is really have the dumb. attention span for that? Yay! I can get a toy! All I need is an envelope! I'm bored! Ooh, video game! Yeah, exactly. That was how kids it went. Kids can get a free Dr. Seuss classic to Fox read. and Socks. With two proofs of purchase plus shipping. But, to be fair, those books probably would taste better than the actual cereal. <laughs> Dude, why <laughs> would kids kid want tested. that? Mother approved. Uh, kid yeah. tested mother Let's approved. say it like it is, people. <laughs> Kicks. Kids tolerate it. Mother has coupons. Oh, that's why you buy it. Hey kids, like the ramen there's another breakfast. terrific edition of now More Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is What's it going to be this time? A car? The first VHS that ever came out of the series. Heroes in a Half Shell. There's not a Heroes ton to talk shell. about except for one little portion that might throw you off a bit. The video what? that reveals the incredible true story. Wait a minute, what, what? was that? The video that reveals the incredible true the, story. The incredible true story? What do you mean the true um, story? Um, I'm not a scientist or anything. I don't think it's possible. I'm just going to take a wild guess that the insane adventures of four anthropomorphic life forms living in the sewer, skateboarding, eating pizza, and fighting the ninja army led by Uncle Phil probably, yeah. probably takes place in the world of fiction. It's yeah. just so strange because there's no other way you can interpret it. It's not yeah, like he meant it to be taken this way or like part in of the some world. misunderstanding. No, they straight up say it's a true, true story. The it's video that not. reveals the incredible true story. What the hell are we supposed to do with that except draw the conclusion that FAG are fucking liars? Are those the is that whipped cream on pizza? The incredible true story. No, That's just no. Right. They're real. If you don't see them in front of you right now, it's probably because you haven't bought enough of our products. Would Ooh. we lie? Yes. 
What I like too is that the announcer clearly has no problem I'm pretty sure it was lying to kids about it, but he almost stumbles lying when he has to, to read what they're actually called. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. As if halfway through he just realized how stupid yeah. this sounded, but tried to keep going anyway. Was this Teenage the one and only take? Oh God, what were you guys smoking? <laughs> Ninja Turtles. Still a fun ad, just don't I mean, have FHE it's old, testify so. in court anytime soon. Rock, dudes. Now, this next one's a classic for two reasons. Hello, my friend. Oh, hi. Oh, I see you're a man who likes donuts, eh? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't well, do what it. do you Don't say? Do we find your creamy center. What do you mean? Do some hole punching. Don't follow. Let something rise up. Totally lost. What's wrong with you? I want weird, wobbly witch sex. Oh, uh, I know what you're saying. Oh. You want me and the actress from Game of Thrones, the one that plays the albino dragon chick, to hook up. Well, don't worry, I got her on speed dial. Cool, easy. Do you really? Amelia Clark? Hey, it's you know who. You're violating the restraining order, asshole. <laughs> she totally oh. wants me. What no, are you missing so. here? You still around? Will you piss off? I'm trying to review some commercials. Commercials? Yeah, like this one. I don't know what's this one gonna be. Is it gonna be Canada? I'm waiting for the Canada commercial or the coffee commercial. That was an this ad is break. What happens when a man and a woman love each other very, very much? Oh. They look at porno sites together? <laughs> You're fired! I thought I he was in I don't even know you! Take care of me, twins. Speaking of where babies come oh, from, more of these we got possibly one of the most brutally babies. honest baby doll commercials ever. They're called the Take Care of Me Twins. Even that oh, title no. sounds a little angry, doesn't it? Like a oh, bitter nickname or something. Oh, am I needed by the Take Care of Me Twins? And they're twins. This commercial seems Don't determined to children. show every stressful, slapping, terrible baby. part about raising a child. With Take Care of Me Twins. Literally, everything I avoid. Again, not the happiest words to shout during a it's baby like a full time job. Keep watching. But this one is drooling. Does your tummy hurt? Oh, excuse me. Did you just drool on my shirt? I'm rushing Ew. along, taking care of these two with new little twins. So Why were these toys popular? There's so many fluids and stuff that are going to get passive aggressive ad disgusting. I've ever seen. Like saying, oh yeah, you want a baby? You want a fucking baby? Kiss your social life goodbye because this is your day. This is your entire goddamn day. Just drooling, sneezing, feeding, changing, Imagine wanting around. to grow up. Thanks very much. Was that one for me? Just look at the smile she gives. That's the smile of, I'm about to kill these I'm in bastards deep. if someone doesn't take them away from me. Take care of me, twins. Keep me on the run. But caring for twins is so much more fun. And oh boy, How what a rushed fun? happy ending, huh? Hell, 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 but it's really goodbye. It's fun. Baby sounds. I don't think I've ever seen sounds. a toy that advertised more why not to buy it. But hey, if tearing uh, out Twix. your hair no, to raise Wix. a no. not human being Ticks. is your idea Wait. of fun, then... Whatever it's called. Yay! Ticks. Take care yeah. of me, twins. Keep me on the run. But caring what? for twins is so much more fun. Take care of me, twins. Make four baby sounds. What four baby sounds? Shoot. <laughs> What is this? Ah, yet another huh? series of classics. The setup is that we see what happens to a scrawny looking kid if they keep growing up while drinking their milk. What girl's gonna we'll go drink. for me with a body like this? Hang in there, Tom. I'm you two years from now, because you're drinking milk, milk and working out. And I've got big news for you. How old are they? You can't work I'm out at a certain milk. age. And in the next few years, it's gonna give me a lot of what I need for strong bones. Beautiful skin. I don't and really drink body. milk or dairy. Looking not like I'm tolerant. I just don't like drinking liquid fat. shallow they are? I mean, all of them are totally based on looks alone. In fact, one of them even like the, flat out says it. Shirtless picture of me on my Instagram. You would check that out. And when all my work is done, will you love me just for my body? I can live with that. Milk. It does a body good. You can? Milk. Because personality should come. Never. Yeah, as apparently. As long as they show looks are everything, as as drink I milk. guess milk is the ultimate ace in the hole. My body, the only difference between me and the guys is this dress. Hey, you can see we turned out just fine. Who is that? That's Jeffrey Kaiser. Yeah, Who? he beats me with a shovel, but you could skate on those abs. If you're still the same little creep in a big body. Is that skate on abs? Why would you want to do that? Don't do that. The truth oh, is, if we me. really could go into the future based on what these selfish little douchebags are like, they probably wouldn't like what they see. 
You may oh, think you... I'm a shrimp now, big brother, but I'm drinking big milk. Brother. Which means I'll grow long hair, beautiful skin, and become uh. totally self-absorbed, meaning I won't need to think for myself. And instead, marry a wealthy millionaire who only wants me for my body. And then yeah. I feel this emptiness inside that only the miracle of cocaine can cure. But that's not enough. Mr. Oh, Jesus. I'll turn to heroin for an even greater high. Don't do that. That's really worse. Anymore, and I wonder where my life went wrong. And then I'll be so tired Milk, not even Bible, once. And I'll try to kill myself in my maid's closet. But then I'll discover rehab and realize it was all part of God's plan. But then I'll relapse and fall right down the slippery slope again. Oh, Jesus, brother, help me. And then I'll die cold in He's the He's not world. aging at all. With my only friend, the glass of milk that started it all. Milk. It runs away. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, this is milk. my spot. Oh god! Oh, it's those two. We've seen them before, and uh, I think it was the uh, cats. Maybe uh, they're too deep video. into it, or maybe they should emphasize the importance of brain power as well as body power. Milk. It does or just you know oh, exercise and chicken and rice. Oh good. Oh, this one's actually like HD. Friendly neighbors oh no, not like another Canada so oh, no. commercial. Oh, look, this is like a new shower. Canada commercial too. Oh, you got the little girl it's there a baby and shower? everything. Oh my god. It's a girl. This is going to be adorable. Oh, yeah. A whistle? It's a rape whistle. <gasps> is that a meme? I'm pretty sure that's a meme. Can it What? 1 and 2? That's terrible what numbers. What the fuck, Canada? <laughs> I mean, talk about an uncomfortable blow to your nads. Is this how you do all like, your serious commercials? Start off with something innocent and lighthearted and then smash it down into cruel, cruel reality? I mean, it's like starting off an ad like this. You know a hard day's work doesn't call for water out of the cooler. What do you got there? I got me a nice bottle of mountain water. Cool, refreshing, big on taste, but also big it's on water. satisfaction. What do you got there? I got pancreatic cancer. Oh, what stage? Sponsored, wet fam. <laughs> National Buzzkill Institution of Canada. Sheesh, I mean, this can't that be good for rough. tourism. Who the hell would want to go to Canada after it, learning yeah. that statistic? Do they have that on the entry sign to the place? That Welcome to one Canada, two, one in two girls up. will be physically or sexually abused? That's pretty awkward. Yeah, that's I mean, pretty bad. I've been to Canada. expecting mother feels? Many, many years ago. It's a rape whistle. Well, Grandma just ruined oh, the baby I thought it was going to be for gonna the go soccer the team. No, wait, can't drink. That's right, that's right. That's yeah. Right. Again, great timing, Grandma. I know you mean well, guys, I thought but... it was going to be... Jesus. Oh, she's going to be a soccer player. It's a rape whistle. Oh my god. Oh, what is this? What is this? Everyone rise for the greatest commercial ever. Wait, this is the greatest commercial current, ever? But trust me when I say it is destined to become a nostalgic commercial classic. What is it? It starts off with a guy just going it into a Denny's to get some pancakes. That's so what many people. What follows is a moment Never seen of that many people pure in Denny's. and absolute beauty. Red, white, and blue pancakes, huh? What do they taste like? America. <laughs> That's the greatest commercial yes. ever. <laughs> yes, they do not, strange old man. What does America taste like? White and blue pancakes taste like America. Oh, oh my God. Everything this country stands for. And all the, the former pancakes. All the cries of freedom. All the wars. Oil. All the battles. All the patriotic treasures of the world. Pancakes. All about here, in this humble. Brilliant piece of brilliantness. Blueberries, you know, pancakes. Some people say they see strawberries. America in the Lincoln Memorial. Fuck them. I've seen it. Some say they see it in the Constitution of the United States. I haven't Fuck seen that. Them too. Some say they see it in our Purple Mountains Majesty, in the glimmering eh? eye of the honest worker, or in oh our God, stars that dude is when they see that our flag the sun. is still there. Fucking pussy pansies! He's in the red, white, and blue pancakes from Denny's! Yeah, exactly. I mean, just Denny's. look at this man when he walks in. He is lost and unsure of himself. He and is he afraid to venture the where he has never ventured before. Red, white, and blue pancakes, huh? 
Oh, they taste like. I was expecting the dude pancakes. to be like, oh yeah, tell These him like everything that's great about America. Like blue pancakes. Where will they leave it? No, what like, maybe like a Vietnam future? flashback. But then, you can see the old man thinking, thinking long and hard. He's like, huh, amateur. Do I tell him? Do I let him in on the secret of this nation's greatest? Yeah, it tastes like crap. Want some? Yes, he is ready. America. I like how the dude just speaking out loud too. America. Like, I don't know, I wonder what this like, tastes like. And you can see on that young man's face that he has found salvation. So? He once was so. lost, but now. I mean, it's a pretty honest commercial. Like blue pancakes. Tell me, oh kind wise sir, what other words of wisdom you have to say about this great nation of waitress. ours? America. Yes, yes, good, good. But how much did he get paid to say America? About America makes it so special. America. Well, yes, How much yes, is make it pay saying, for that? Could you possibly go into more detail? America. Is he known for anything else? He looks kind of familiar. How many fingers am I holding up? America. America. What color is my hat? America. America. You can't say anything else, can you? America. And this young man and I have clearly been reading too deeply into your uncontrollable mental America. illness. America. Huh. That's sad. Well. I still stand it's like a this Pokemon. The greatest commercial of all you can only time. say Why? America. America. Oh, fucking America. And who can top that? America. 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 Okay, shut up! Well, oh, thanks for watching my commercial. That's today. how we ended. it? Okay, hope you we didn't get to the coffee commercials yet, I guess. Hey, whatever did happen to that horny, wicked witch? I don't know. Uh, okay, lighting the candle that close to... It's Things? hot in here, and I like you very much, lover that? boy. Well, I mean, the candles, the music, the sexy Who's he? dress. What's going on here? Don't you I don't like know who that me? is. I'm, just I'm your time. girl. What are you doing this for? I want you. Hey, why does he look kind of mean? familiar? I want your body. Don't follow. I don't follow. I want to have sex with you. Totally lost. Listen here, you bizarre man who has a picture of a spoon on his wall for some reason. Why? Why? I why? want your ball! Oh, now I get it. But uh, playing football. It's your spiral. Not bad. I get it. Spiral. Maybe you should be more uh, specific like next time then. And I don't need to take it. It took him long enough. What just happened? It'd be like that. It'd be like Greg's. Uh, Greg? I don't know what his name is. By his book? Disaster Artist? I don't know who that is. Is he known for something? Other than writing a book? I, I don't know. I wonder what the little, like, in thing is going to be, like, at the uh, very end. This was definitely the best one. This is better than the first three, for sure. What. Canada. Get better commercials. Oh god, what is it? <sighs> felt oh, wait, oh. I feel like I haven't reviewed anything. Oh, nostalgic. we got a minute and a half. Go see if there's any other nostalgic things I can review. God? No, my son. There is still Who are you? movie left for you to review. There's a lot of movies left. Return to your nostalgic roots, my That's son. Superman. What do you want, Joe? Joe? Joe. Do not know this, Joe. Joe Mama? I'm your father, Joel. Knock it off, Joe. Joe. My father wouldn't have hedgehog hair like yours. All right, the shut hedgehog. it off. Shut it off. But seriously, there still is one recent film you have to answer for. Oh, well, come on. What I would, would that enough be? recent stuff. I want to get back to my nostalgic roots. There's oh, so we actually took a break to do new stuff. I know that you didn't care for, and I'm here to make you answer for it even if i have to make sure you review it properly all the way through what, what, what is, is, is it is it a superman movie i don't know when this actually uploaded originally really you don't know <sighs> no i don't of course i know it's just I think that it's pretty obvious we're talking about man of steel no shit we're man talking about steel. man of steel i just want to build it up for oh. dramatic tension oh <sighs> Well, a movie great. I haven't well, seen, but fact. I'm pregnant. Show your work. America. 
America. I do. I had a feeling that was probably going to be the little in scene thing. Yeah, I've never seen Man of Steel. I haven't seen the only DC movie I've seen is the Suicide Squad movie with Will Smith from a couple years ago. I actually enjoyed that movie. Don't hate me, please. Please don't hate me. I really hope you enjoyed this video, though. We'll be back with more Nostalgia Critic videos in the future. You all showed so much support for them, and I really, really enjoyed them. I always enjoy watching them. So, thank you all so much for the support you've shown me in the channel. Definitely check out some of my other videos from my other series. They're all on playlists on my channel. You can check that out. Or if you can always just Search up the Duck Goes Moo and the name of the video, and it'll pop up. I uh, recently did something about Pi Mations. Pi Mations is great. You can check that out. But I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hopefully, I made it better. But until next video, I hope you're subscribed. But until then, take care and cue the music.